Hi, I'm Rainy with Finance Strategists. In this lesson, we're going to cover... In finance, hedges are investments made to counter the effect of possible losses. The strategy of using hedges to offset risk is known as hedging. If someone buys a volatile stock that may either skyrocket in price or may lose most of its value, they can hedge against potential losses by investing in a safer blue chip or utilities company that has a more stable stock price. That way, if the volatile stock loses all or most of its value, the investor will not lose all of the value of their total portfolio. Hedging is common in day-to-day -day life. For example, car insurance policies hedge against damage to vehicles from accidents. Gold is considered a hedge during tough economic times because it is a store of value and protects against inflation. Holding on to cash can be an effective hedging strategy against a declining stock market. Some of the most common hedging strategies are diversification. This strategy consists of including different types and kinds of assets with little to no correlation to each other in a portfolio. The idea is to balance out risky elements with more conservative ones in a portfolio. Short positions. Some investors will buy a short position, which is a purchase order that profits when a security's price declines. That way, if a security loses its value, the profits from the short position will offset the losses from the long position. Derivatives. Investing in derivatives, such as futures and options, is another common strategy for hedging. Farmers guard against price volatility and crop failure by locking in crop prices in the futures market. Similarly, purchasing options is buying the option to sell at a certain price, known as the strike price. If a stock declines sharply, the investor may exercise their option and sell the stock at the strike price rather than the stock's current price. A perfect hedge is one in which the risk is perfectly balanced with a reward. In the example of a stock purchase, a perfect hedge should theoretically result in exactly the same profit for the investor, irrespective of its actual price movement. However, perfect hedges are extremely rare in practice because there are costs associated with hedging, such as storage of assets or fees for making the trade. A perfect hedge can also leave money on the table in the form of unrealized profits. In our previous volatile stock example, if that stock ends up skyrocketing in price, the investment used to hedge against potential losses would have been more profitable if it were invested in the volatile stock. Let's hear from you. Can you think of an asset or strategy that might help you hedge against the dollar losing its value due to inflation? Leave your answer in the comments below. For more information, visit www.financestrategist.com. Finance Strategists, strategies for your future.